what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will discuss on the mantra for success what is the secret of success a beautiful secret it's a well-known secret but i will try to present it as what i have realized in my approach to this secretive process if you are new to the channel and you have still not subscribed to it then i don't know what you're waiting for <laughs> please subscribe to it below and if you like this video then watch my other videos and click the thumbs up and share it with people that you know who want to be successful like you <laughs> And also, if you have other tips on how to become successful, then you can please share it in the comments below. I would love it. I would appreciate it very much. All right. Before beginning, as I say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will be there and he will also help you to become successful. What I'm going to speak today is a balance between the process and the goal. Which means to be successful, one of the most important traits that we need to have is attraction for the process rather than the goal. Should I repeat? Did I, did I say something alien? <laughs> no, no, I am right, I think. Attraction for the process to reach the goal has to be higher than the attraction to the goal. <laughs> which means that the goal is important there is no doubt for example if somebody plans to open let me give some direct examples to illustrate this point if somebody wants to open a youtube channel for example or he he, he or she has opened the channel and then he what is his what is his ultimate desire that he wants to become famous in youtube for example suppose then what is his aim his goal is to become famous means he wants maybe a million subscribers for example or maybe 10000 subscribers or maybe 50 million subscribers this is his goal that is the end result that is the last milestone but what is the process process is the way how you get there, that which leads you to the goal, that is the process. For example, if somebody wants to gain a million subscribers, he cannot do it only if he loves the goal because the goal is very far. He has to love the process. That means he has to love uploading videos on the topics that he wants to upload. Because that is what will give him the driving force of doing those things every day. For example, if somebody is in interested in making videos about food, then the fact of the attraction towards a million subscribers has to be there. But more than that, it has to be his obsession, his passion, his desire, his his what you say in Sanskrit, there's a word lollium, that greed. <laughs> The greed for uploading new, new videos. And when I say upload, I don't mean simply upload to YouTube, but to capture different kinds of food, diff different varieties of food, to go and see different uh, traditions. Those things have to be there in the person. Otherwise, how in the universe will he upload a video every day or maybe every five days or maybe every 10 days? Because those who have... 1 million subscribers they have not got it overnight they have needed time 10 years 5 years 15 years 8 years 7 years 6 years 5 years down the line if you do not love what you do that is true with everything sports also if you want to become the number one batsman that is great but if you do not like to bat how will you become the number one batsman so the goal is not more important than the process the process is more important you have to enjoy what you are doing otherwise you will not achieve what you are doing <laughs> you will leave what you are doing and that's very true with everything for example if you want to learn astrology then your desire has to be to learn do i do you understand what i mean 
the desire has to be to learn what what the planets are what placement of planets what what is this what is that it cannot be the desire to know the horoscope of yourself without the desire of learning for example some people tell me that oh when you make a transit video i will only go to the leo zodiac sign and watch because that is mine <laughs> if this is your attitude you cannot learn astrology should i repeat if this is your attitude you can be a person at best who uses astrology you cannot learn astrology because for learning astrology you have to know about every zodiac sign for example jupiter saturn's double transit the video which i made that in that i have explained for all zodiac signs so if you are only going and seeing what jupiter will do for aries ascendant it will affect the sign of gemini aquarius in the third house 11th house then well you can use astrology but you cannot become a student of astrology <laughs> because your goal is not to learn astrology your goal is to just know your horoscope which is not wrong which is perfectly fine i am not saying that is wrong do not take me wrong here i am saying if you are having that desire that you want to learn then you have to have attraction for the process otherwise you cannot learn the same is with any spiritual practice why do people start some meditation some practice and they leave it why have you asked this question they say oh we didn't get results have you heard this <laughs> which means they were more focused on the goal rather than the process because of which due to some reason if they saw that the i am not able to reach that goal and they do not love the process so what they decided chuck it off <laughs> it doesn't work there you go that means if you want to be successful in any field either it is computer science or medical science or any field youtube or if you want to shine in the media industry in bollywood hollywood kollywood tollywood jollywood mollywood follywood <laughs> whichever wood it is you have to love what you are doing otherwise that cannot happen you will at best be a one time performer <laughs> what do i mean by one time performer one time performer means some day somehow somewhere by luck something clicked and you succeeded that will perhaps be there in the history books for you one day two day three day he succeeded you cannot succeed every day when i say you cannot succeed every day i don't mean to say you have to be 100% every day but if you want to make a impact long term on society on yourself or on your career or on things that you love you have to be consistent and you have to love what you are doing because the process is more important than the goal <laughs> because if you do not love the process how will you reach the goal it's impossible you may think you will reach but it doesn't work that way because the process is what will give you milestone after milestone after milestone which will ultimately lead you to the ultimate goal to the last of all milestones and when you reach that you say i have achieved my goal yes then you say that right but if you are cursing yourself oh my god i have to chant this mantra i have to read this gita oh they said you will get moksha <laughs> that is why the same tendency comes when we start something spiritual there was there was a girl one day she asked me we were, we were having some discussion so she asked me oh you told to do this na i will get moksha na there you see where's the problem now the question is correct because even in the scriptures it is said falena viparichiyate falena viparichiyate falena viparichiyate ultimately the end result matters if you are not obtaining god if you are not obtaining spiritual perfection after all your spiritual pursuits what is the use you have simply wasted time shrama eva hi kevalam the bhagavatam says but of course that won't happen if you are doing things properly because there are so many who have done 
But what I am trying to say is the question that will you obtain spiritual perfection or not is not wrong. But that cannot be the only what you say the apple of the eye. You have to love the process. You have to you when you are when you are reading uh, the Gita or the Bhagavatam or the Quran or maybe you are into Ayurveda when you are reading you have to read it as if you are actually into it <laughs> because you cannot pretend for very long you cannot simply pretend for long because my guru used to say this you can fool everybody for some time you can fool some people for all time <laughs> should i repeat <laughs> you can fool everybody for some time and you can fool somebody for all time but you cannot fool everybody for all time should i repeat again <laughs> you cannot fool everybody for eternity that is not possible that means if you do not love what you are doing you will you will be least interested in the goal after some time because you will be convinced that you cannot reach there because if you cannot take a single step if you cannot just reach the next milestone what gives you the conviction that you will give, reach the last milestone for example if somebody is having a goal to go from mumbai to pune then what 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 are the different milestones what are the different stations that he will be halting his car or his train or whatever you call it <laughs> or maybe it takes takes a flight now when he crosses uh, bombay he will reach navi mumbai then he will reach panvel and then uh, then he will go and then he will reach vashi these are the places and then finally he will reach lonavala then when he goes near to pune uh, he uh, he's about to reach he will see uh, this divai patel college then he will see barbecue nation hotel sayaji groups yes have you been there <laughs> pune <laughs> Whenever I think of Pune, I remember that verse in Bhagavatam. Pune, Pune, Charvit Charvana Naam. Prahlad Maharaj says this. Anyways, I love to deviate. So coming back to the topic, when you are reaching Pune from Mumbai, then there are certain milestones which will come in the way, right? Without which you do not reach Pune. So if you are not able to reach Lonavala or what you say Khandala, <laughs> how in the universe will you reach Pune? that means you are not interested to reach pune actually because it is very easy to think of the ultimate goal it is very easy to be in illusion that everything will just fall out everything will just fall in place but it doesn't happen you have to love the process your love for the process has to be more than the goal should i repeat your love for the process has to be more than the goal and if you love the process the goal is just another detail yeah the goal is just another point in the process that's what the scriptures say that when you keep practicing spirituality you become so elevated that you don't realize that suddenly one day you are not living you are there in the spiritual realm with god you don't realize it you don't even think that uh, will i be with god or not yes <laughs> you don't even realize when that happened for example if a person has maybe many subscribers in youtube he is going on making videos he is going on going on going on, and suddenly one day he reaches 1 million subscribers he is not sitting and counting oh how many subscribers have i got if somebody is doing that every day maybe in the initial days somebody may do but on a long term you will realize that that will not give you uh, what you say fulfillment that will not give you a sense of joy if every day you are counting how many subscribers you have or if you want to become famous in cinema industry every day you are counting okay how many people are following me in facebook <laughs> if you are following my facebook page that is not going to give you success it may give you for some time as i said you can be a op- occasional performer a one time performer but you cannot be like the rambo <laughs> All right that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments then please let me know in the comment section and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it i hope and i wish you all the best that you start liking the process 
more than the goal and if you do this then rest assured victory is yours wish you good luck bye bye see you